What's up, guys? We're going to go ahead and race at Le Mans 1967. It is in front Wrong. Of no? What are you talking about? The track is it's 71. It's 71 track. Yes, but we said we were going to call it 1967. Oh. <laughs> so not wrong. So the layout hasn't changed much at all um, from 67, if changed any. I'm going to go ahead and be in the Ferrari, which is the uh, 330p4. Um, if you guys are wondering, I'm actually wearing the P car on my shirt. It's by Blipship, so check them out. Um, <laughs> P car. P car. It's a P <laughs> car. Man, you uh, can so pee tired. on it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and race each other in a lobby uh, with other AIs, and we're going to just experience what it was like, because um, I have no idea. I wasn't there. Um, but let's go ahead. Uh, are you ready to vote to start? Yes. So we had a lot of setting up to do this morning to get this going, but we got it going. Philip is extremely slow. I'm very slow, guys. My bad. All right, let's do this. I'm excited. All right, it's loading up. But yeah, so the P car. Um, the Ford you're in, it's the, uh, what Ford is that? There was a, it was called like the, Streamline or something, but it was like streamline, right? I don't know. Okay, let's go to our race engineer. We were already here, and we couldn't reach our top speed. I am slow at accelerating. No, I can't reach my top speed. No, because I'm reaching the top speed. That's the problem. Go ahead and see if we can figure this out. Uh, let's go to setup. It's going to be in gearing. Nine laps. We only have enough fuel for nine laps. Okay, I'm going to the max. 15 laps. Okay, uh, when it comes to gearing, I'm not the best. Uh, Bill, uh, it's uh, set it's set right now at 1.000 now if i want a higher top speed what should i go for a lower so lower so drop it down to oh it's not letting me drop it down too bad that's weird it's set at it means that you're already maxed out oh well, i guess that's what it is let's hop in the car guys Okay, let's adjust. Alrighty. Are you on track already? Yep. We got pit limiter on. Alright, the ignition works. Windshield wipers work. Different camera angles work. Cold tires, so you know the routine. Just get some heat into them and start pushing. Man, this is cool. Got to get the wheel set to my other setting. Three, there we go. Now it feels better. I don't like that I can't hit top speed. The top speed on here is horrible. How much is it? Ah! I was looking. That sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. 
Now the top speed is fifth gear's all messed up. How so? It's taking longer now to hit top speed. Yeah. That's good. I'm happy with it. But I, I don't remember making any changes that should have changed that. Interesting. I mean, I had trouble getting top speed as well, so it might be the like wind or something. So the wind is a real impact in the game? Yeah, I guess. That's a good thing. I like that. I didn't think the wind was that big of a deal, though. I gotta fix my my fifth gear. It's it's the fifth gear itself. But I, the changes I did make, it's kind of weird. Ah! I gotta get used to this. Slow down, penalty. <laughs> I gotta get used to this track. I do not know it. <laughs> yeah, fifth gear is just dead. There's nothing going on in fifth gear. Yeah, top fifth gear is 60 miles an hour. Oh, this is what's different. I know what's different now about 1967, the chicane at the end of the lap. Uh, That's what's different. I mean, not a big difference. Not a big difference, but a different. Oh! And they have a pit wall. Like the barrier, that's the other difference. Where's pit limiter? Where's pit limiter? Where's my pit? There's no pit crew out here. Did you catch that? No. Yeah, there's no pit crew. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to... Uh, I can't hit my top speed. Uh, okay, so you hit, you aren't able to hit your... Are you hitting or getting very near the rev limiter in the highest gear? On the longer straight? No. All right, let's see if that helps. Where are you at on track? Oh, uh, coming out of Indiana, uh, Indiana police. And, uh, I cannot say that, but yeah. <laughs> so the main straight. All right, I'm pulling out of the pitch right now. That's why. Sideways, my car started taking off. I got a 
turn this stupid thing off. There we go. Let's see what happens now on the street. Uh, a hair better. Except another P car is literally passing me. Xavier. Yeah, I'm not able to hit the top speed at all. Is that a Camaro? <laughs> a Camaro racing with the P series. Yeah, my fifth gear is destroyed. I don't know what happened to it. I don't remember messing with it at all. Are you able to reset the settings uh, to go back to like what the game was set? Probably. Try to fix this. Uh, hello. Hey, what's up? How are you? Uh, we're racing at Le Mans right now, but I need to get my top speed fixed. Does anybody know how to do that? Race engineer. I can't hit my top speed. Uh, okay, have so. Tried, uh, have you tried reducing your downforce? It's not the downforce. Remember, I had high. Uh, I was hitting the. I was hitting the top speed before in fifth gear, and I was passing everybody. Now I can't at all. Getting very near the rev limiter. Okay, are you hitting or getting very near the rev limiter? No. Um, okay, lower the final drive. Oh, that's what happened. They probably lowered it. Let's check it. It lowered it. Yeah. Okay, we're going back up. So originally it, it was at a thousand or, or 1.0. It's right now at 1.8 or it was at 1.7. So I'm gonna put it to 1.9 and just see what difference that is. Okay, here we go. 
Ooh, I'm glad I figured that out. I was scared you were going to kick my ass. Uh, you always kick my ass in racing, dude. So I'm like, fuck. I'm leaving. Are you going? No, I'm in the pits. Okay, I'm passing you right now. I'm leaving. Let's do this. Can you uh, tell me the highlight of 1967? A highlight from 1967. Well, it was definitely Ford. Ford came back with a faster car, more reliable. It was the streamlined, and they figured out how the aero package needed to be more streamlined in the rear end. So, the movie that came out was all about, you know, the Mark, what, 3? But this car, the Ford that uh, Bill's in, that was the Ford that really took Ford to the top. Not the Ford GT, it was the Streamline. Which, uh, it's kind of sad that they never made an actual car you could buy that looked like that. Because that car looked so freaking cool. That would have been a hatchback. Yes, we're, we're, in, we're in good shape, guys. Fifth gear is actually better, but it's still topping out. Now I gotta go drop it down a little. Okay, that's good. We know what we're doing. Finally. <laughs> Bill, you're probably like, yes, he finally knows what he's actually doing. Sure. Alright. Let's go ahead. Oh, I can't go back in. Okay, so practice is over. Uh, what, what's going on now? Um, yes, I think it's waiting for everyone to finish their laps and then it's going to go into the, uh, into the race session. Oh, the race is going to start. Yes. 45 minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'll go to the bathroom before we start. Still got a couple of minutes, probably. So. Yeah, the fight continued f between Ferrari and um, Ford um, in 1967. It was actually really good. What year did Ford win Le Mans? 1966. The Ford GT, also known as the GT40, first won Le Mans in 1966 with the mid-engine. Uh, Who won 1967? The 1967 24 Hours of Le Mans was won by an American manufacturer with the American built car, the GT40 Mark IV, driven by the American driver Dan Gurney. So, that's pretty cool. Yes, it's called uh, Google. Uh, okay, I'm going to use the restroom and then we got some racing to do, guys. I got to race against this clown. Dude. We got three minutes to go still? Damn. Where is everybody? Don't got a clue. Let's see. Oh, they're coming. Slowly. Can't even skip this. You can't skip this? No, I can't. Yes, guys, we do have cars that are not from 1967 in with us, just to make it a little more interesting. Add some variety. Oh, there we go. I was just on board with the GTB. 
and the uh, Camaro, dude, they were battling it out hard. <laughs> what was your fastest time? 31, but that was not a very fast lap. But um, it looks like the Mark Four or the Fords are going to be very, very quick. Yeah, the Fords are leading. Well, they won in 67. They came with the streamline, it was much faster. Why are there only. What game is this? Three, three oh, cars. this is Project Cars 2. Um, if you have it, we would you could join us next time we do something like this. Just find it find me on Discord at Philip the Titan. Uh number is number ninety five I gotta uh just find me on social media, Philip the Titan. I'm there. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. Is this the formation lap? Yes. All right, we're doing this, guys. <laughs> Please don't let me crash. Please don't let me crash. Is that you in front of me? No. I'm up at the front, or at the front of the pack. Almost. Oh my god, this is crazy, dude. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, Phil. No worries. I love racing with you, man. I would love to do, uh... How dare you say that? Um, I would love to get, like, uh... Steve, uh... Santo together and do some racing on here. Yes. And, and Rob. Rob would love it. Rob's always racing. Rob, I think, only prefers, though, a set of Corsa Competizione. Wait. Oh. You're second. Okay. <laughs> Bill. Okay. Well, this is how long of a race? 45 minutes. Yeah, dude, so much could happen in 45 minutes, and you know that. True, and you have a slower car, so it's all good. You can save replays in uh, Project Cars, right? Not sure. Maybe. Alright. I'm trying to get tire temperatures up. How much fuel do you, are you running in your car? Enough. I'm running the max fuel in this car, so. Forty-five minutes. I should have enough to for a three pit stop. That's what I'm hoping on. Oh my god, this is exciting! Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Is it like the recreation from the past? Um, not so much because we have different era cars in it with us. But the goal was just to have traffic in here with the two main cars. And that was the Ferrari and the uh, Ford for 1967. 
So it's our recreation, but it's not like a diehard fan's recreation. It's it's just us having fun. Mulsan is so slow. Dude! Do you have a VR headset? No. My computer cannot run VR. Okay. The fuel rate is, it's a normal, you know, depletion rate, but the tires are at an accelerated wear rate. Why do so, you accelerate the tires? Uh, just to make sure the uh, pit stops are going to actually happen, because the AI are going to be on, you know. They'll run on those dead tires forever, huh? Yeah. And they'll run all, on them really good. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> it's like, how... <laughs> I wanted to kind of prevent that. You're so funny, dude. The AI on ball tires is still faster than us. <laughs> I like how the start time is around the real time. Yes. You did a good job on that. I said a random time, so thanks. I mean, it's the evening pretty much at this point. Shadows are getting quite long. Okay, my windshield wipers are working and my lights. That's like all you need. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> For Le Mans in this era, you gotta make sure your windshield wipers are working and your lights turn on. And the car, well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is awesome, dude. Doing something like this I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm actually surprised there's not more esports races uh, with these, you know, era cars. Yo, uh, what's happening? Oh, yeah. Line up. Uh, oh, I, oh, oh, oh. I was hit by the AI. Yeah, they're lining up uh, in two rows. My, so my wheel's all messed up now. What the hell just happened? Dude, he just hit me. Yep. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> that guy just got! Oh my god! Why are all the cars messed up at the beginning of this race? Because <laughs> they wanted to line up, uh, like. Dude, he's hitting while. me! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we need you to come in and we'll try to fix it. Oh my god! What did you set the AI oh. to? It's like at a hundred percent. But I didn't set the aggression too high, I don't think. Well, you did because they're hitting me. My car's destroyed. Oh my god! This is freaking amazing! <laughs> It's already getting dark, oh sh... Oh crap. <laughs> I'm already tapped out. Oh god, the AI are breaking. In front of me. Oh, oh, oh that's me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did that just happen? When you go back to the pits, can you set, uh, can you do uh, changes to your gearing? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, 
Oh wow, I am so slow right now. up in my transmission. What do you mean? Um, it's grinding gears, even though I'm, I'm correctly inputting it. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> my car is so fucked up. <laughs> somewhere else. Wait, was that my pit crew or not? What's up with this pit crew? <laughs> I had no idea where my pit crew is. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, goodness. So I just went into the pit for no reason. Good job. Damn I it. We need to pit now. Okay, I got a question. Do you have to hit the pit button, or can you just pull into the pit? Uh, pit button. Oh, that's why then. I don't have a button. What? I didn't uh, set the pit button. What is the pit button? Well then, are you just gonna pull into the pit, or do you request it? Yeah, it's a manual pit stop. You just... Drive in yourself. Yeah, I did, and nothing was there. Huh. My car is so slow, I cannot even catch these Jaguars. The Jaguar? <laughs> I turn my lights off, and this is They're pretty cool. pulling away. They're pulling away. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They'll call me into the pits when they're ready. So I gotta stay out. What the hell? I'm being passed by a Ford. Is it already morning? No, it's night time. So they're not gonna call- oh shit, it is dark. Where are 
are you on the track? I forget the name of this section. Where the old Porsche sign is. Or the, the new Porsche sign is. I got no clue. Indy. You know that Gosh. you know that dead stop where you make a right and then you have that long straight? Where the Porsche sign is now? Uh not sure. Oh goodness. There's my crew. Alright, I'm coming up to you. I'm in the pits. so much damage. No, I have tons of damage, dude. This car is undrivable. But I'm, I'm just saying, screw it. I went in for the repairs. Actually, it doesn't look to be taking that long. Okay, you just pulled into the pitch, right? Yeah. Okay. And you have, like, the, uh... What's it called? Uh, like, the... Fuel thing. Pulls uh, like out from the uh, the top of the stall, and the crew runs out. Probably need to look out for it, um, like on the very beginning of the pitch right for you. Oh, okay. I got some comments coming in. Max said something. <laughs> I gotta go, man. A.M. tomorrow. Hey, man. Thanks for joining us. I hope you have a great one. car is so fast now. Is it? Yeah. I went, in for, uh, went in for the repairs and wow. It fixed the car? Yeah. Did it give you options to do any uh, changes on the settings? No. Okay. It was just repairs and uh, yeah. fuel. Because my... I noticed in the beginning of the race, one of your lights was out, so... Yes, one of the lights is out. Nice. You saw that at the beginning of the race? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> okay. What happened? Well, that's, uh... <laughs> that's my race, that race definitely over. I'm what happened? Now. I, uh... The mall sand kink. Oh. Yeah, it screwed me over. Um, I'm being given a penalty. Well, I'm pulling into the pits, dude. So don't worry. We'll s you still got a chance of whooping my butt. Cause my dude, top speed is no ruined. chance. I'm I'm at the end of the mall sand street. Yeah. I'm, I'm missing a wheel. Um, my whole front end is missing, I think. No, my whole rear end is missing, actually. So, yeah. Surviving in these cars, dude, is actually hard. It's not like driving the LMP1. Yeah.
Yeah, something's up with my transmission. It's just ruined. I cannot see okay. anything. Oh, there they are. There they are. I see them now. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. I gotta go use the restroom. Whoa. quick. My repairs are taking forever. The uh, leading car has just passed me. <laughs> the leading car. Dude, we both did horrible, but you know what? I think we should do this again, but the AI needs to be adjusted just right. To be less aggressive. All they did was fucking hit me. The beginning of the lap, I got taken out. In the formation lap, I got hit. <laughs> yeah. We want to restart honestly we're already kind of in i say we just run it okay I, i'm gonna get a bad position just as well but i'm down to try it again like why, why can't we try it a couple times in the stream Clear, go. especially because i want to make sure to get the top speed dialed in on this car, I think that's important. All right. For this track, for sure. Plus, it gives the viewers a couple chances to watch us do this. All right, I'm right in the mix of everybody. Top three, top four. Alright, I'm finally running, but these cars, dude, are super aggressive. All they want to do is hit. Oh god. Oh god. What happened? My engine is overheating. Your engine's overheating? And, yeah, and, uh, well, I'm, I'm coming up to the final chicane, but my damage is going up extremely fast, so my engine might just blow it right Dude, there. I actually have top speed now. It was the transmission and the motor. Yeah, that, that's my razor. Get Terminal to the pit! Damage. Get to the pit! I can't answer. I'll push you to the pit. Well, good luck. Where I'm, are you? Uh, um, Coming up to the final chicane, uh, there's a very, very small re uh, right kink. I'm on the right side there. We got this. Oh wait, no. You can't actually push me, because when I'm stopped, my car ghosts. Aw, oh, man! Yeah, that's fun. I just had a bad crash. I'm out. That was... that was rather strong of us. <laughs> what happened? That was a strong attempt from us. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm stuck somewhere. You know what it was? The AI was way too damn aggressive in the beginning. Ruined our rhythm. I mean, the AI had nothing to do with our crash on the mall set. True. Actually, it did, because they hit you from behind. No, they did not. Then why did, how did you end up in front of me spinning out? You were hit by one the AI! Was, one of us somehow probably just drifted off slightly. Off I did I didn't! I was going straight and all of a sudden yeah, you're so flying sorry. in front of me in sideways. I'm falling back into the pits. Are you in the pits? I retired, yeah. Yo, you retired? Yeah. All right. I couldn't make it back to the pits. All right, do you want to restart this then? Sure. All right, restart it. Let's do this. We definitely I suck, though. Yeah. I have to, uh, I think, restart the whole lobby. Okay, guys, we'll be right back. We're going to restart the lobby. Um. And we're going to attempt this again. So let's see what happens. Uh, that was such a brutal, brutal race, guys. Uh, that gives me time to share this online. Thank you. All right, the AI, dude, set, set that aggression low as F, dude. There's no need for the, any aggression, really. Especially it's on an endurance race. Yeah, set that shit down. <laughs> uh, 15. Like, those guys are way too aggressive. You saw that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna remove the formation laps, well, because oh, are you? Yeah, because yeah. they were too aggressive. Yeah, when they start lining up, uh, like before the start, they just did whatever they wanted. And yeah, they took they hit me. They took me out. My race was already done at the beginning of the race. Yeah. Okay. All right, you sent it to me? Yes. Sorry, I'm over here, so I can't really see it. There it is. Got it. Password the same? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm in the rig, that's why. <laughs> Dude, that was a nightmare. Very much so. <sighs> Jesus. All right, man. You ready? Oh, no. Hold on. It's trying to set me up in the Ford. What I noticed as well uh, for my, my end was for whatever reason, the wheel was set at 540 degrees. Uh-huh. So the car was extremely twitchy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that... These cars can't be twitchy. As soon as they yeah. get a little twitchy, they're undrivable. Yeah. It's because they're really uh, squishy already. All right, yeah. let's, let's do this. Are you going to vote to start? Oh, there we go. All right, let's rock it. <laughs> I'm hungry. I got a little hungry, too. Okay, 
Let's do this. There we go. Now it's the correct amount of rotation. Probably a bit nice to drive it like this. All right, let's get this gearing right now. Did you already leave the track? Yeah, I'm just trying how the car feels with the right amount of rotation. Okay. Oh yeah, much better. Alright, the AI is not trying to hit me off track already, so that's good. That's good. Oh wow, we have, uh, out of 18 cars, 13 are prototypes. Really? Alright, let's test this car, uh, this fifth gear. A little better. I'm gonna have to set it one more knot. Do you think if we d mess with the chassis of these cars and got them a little more stiff, they would drive a little better? Or do you think that would ruin them? You could try. I I mean, the, the tires don't have all that much grip, so keep that in mind. A stiff chassis may cause problems. And yeah. The tires, the tires can't grip up as well. Would it be possible to take these cars in today's world and modify them to the point where they drive like a real, you know, top-notch car? Like, like a GT3 car? Depends on how extensively we want to modify it. I mean, anything can be probably made into that, but... At what point is it not the car it was previously? No, you're right. The AI is behaving much better now. They also seem significantly slower. But it's like, what do you, what do you want? Do you want them hitting us off track or slower? It's like there's no middle with this damn uh, software. Yeah. And that's kind of where they fail, uh, Project Cars. Daniel, what's up, man? I think the low drag car is key at this place. Um, no, definitely agree with you on that. Dude, are the uh, Porsche prototypes in here? Yeah, they are. Oh. We should do that next. All right. The Pit crew never comes out, so... Uh, let's...
Let's go tuna. What's up? What are you doing? What am I doing? You've become a pig. You pig! Start! How much time do we have until it goes into the race? Nine and a half minutes plus a couple of minutes. So okay. I'm not going to be doing complete plus. laps then. I'm going to be just trying to get the car dialed in. That's weird. Okay, yeah, getting this car dialed in is going to be a pain. Okay, yeah. You said go lower if I want a higher top speed, right? AI slower. I was passing him. Well, I mean, I just did a much faster lap than I did previously. Okay. Right yeah, no worries. Okay, we got it. I think we got it, guys. Um, while we're here, let's get the suspension dialed in. Spring rate, right high, right high. Uh, da, 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 da. Compound, all weather. Automatic by weather. Yeah, because when it starts raining, we want to make sure we're good. All right, let's test the top speed one more time. This should be what I'm looking for. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck.
Let's see if we get a good top speed now. Hi. I did a trick and got food, so I'm gonna be muted while I eat. Okay. I think I got the top speed somewhat dialed in. Yeah, we'll leave it here. I think if we drop it any more, it's going to lose the rev limiter. Uh, tuning race engineer. Um, I'm slow on the straights. I keep spinning in fast corners. Car doesn't turn in corners. Um, no. Have you done anything to the uh, to the actual car's like handling aspect or no? No. All right. Yeah, I'll just leave it then, too. Because it wasn't that bad. Uh, pitch strategy. Uh, do you have your pitch strategy set up or no? Yeah. I just have it so that it changes uh, tires automatically by weather. That's it. So you created a pitch strategy then? Yes. Okay. Um, pit and then fuel. Uh, tire change. I'm running a lot of fuel. I think I need to back off on the fuel, right? Yeah, it depends. I mean, <coughs> recommended uh. front, rear, all. Match tire compound, yes. Uh, uh, new front. How do you set it to weather? I'm here right now. Go to tires and just go through them until there's uh, automatic by weather. Okay, yeah, I do have that on. Okay. Uh, damage, let's jump to that. Uh, front brakes, yes, 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 yes. Uh, save pitch strategy, yes. And I want to be on that pitch strategy. Okay, I've actually never done that before. All right, I got a few seconds. I'll be right back. Whoa. Let me put it on someone's car.
Got some cheese. Nice. Hmm. All right, this is it, man. All right, let's do our best to keep it as clean as humanly possible. This will be the last attempt. But if I do hit you, I'm sorry. I don't know. I should have drove the McLaren. That McLaren is pretty cool. You know what? I'm going to try to get a blip shift McLaren shirt when I do one. And then we'll do that one. What I'll do also is um, I will keep an eye out on Blitzshift's daily t-shirts and like whatever competition they have against each other. And then I'll send it to you. You let me know and I'll send you a shirt from them. And then we got our shirts of the car we're racing. Yeah, I'm really digging on the McLaren. The Porsche. Man, I want to drive that. I want to drive that in VR. They sound so weird. Why do they sound so weird, dude? We good. What happened? You there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Finished my meal. Went to the bathroom. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. I'm in. Where are you at on the grid? Next to you. <laughs> oh boy, I hope this is clean. Wow! <laughs> Dude. Did you just hit me? No, you hit me. You hit me? I was in front of you! <laughs> you you swerved, uh, like, swerved right. Why did you and, put uh, the, why did you put this type of start on? So oh! <laughs> oh my god, they're still psychotic. Oh goodness. I had no clue that guy was there. Right behind you. I can see that. Dude, these Porsches are slow. You're why are you so much faster than me? Better car. 
<laughs> the Porsche, dude, looks like it's gonna fling at me. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, you can't even pass the Porsche. I passed the Porsche, but the Fords are faster. Uh, oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> and the McLarens! I already reached my top speed. I'm not even hitting my red limiter. <laughs> oh god, the Porsche got in my way and I just took him right out. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't get this. In testing, I had my top speed dialed in. It's not hitting the same top speed. Different weather conditions. Really? Wind is different. So what's the point of setting up your fucking car? Oh goodness. Oh, this was not good. Bruce McLaren, you dick! He just shoved Did me into the wall. Oh. My pit crew was already out. They knew. <laughs> Somehow have engine damage. So you're in the pits now. Yep. Nice. I'm already 40 seconds behind. Fucking Bruce McLaren, dude. No wonder nobody liked him. Come on, get me out of the pit! Minute and forty seconds behind. Or just at the most sand. The date uh, multiplier different, huh? Yes.
but it's just that um, for this race I set it to be three hours earlier for the start and uh, with no early start it's gonna get dark uh, a bit later. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. Guess I'm hitting. What happened? Um, you know the small hill, uh, yep. right hander? Yep. Um, came over that and I took a bit of the grass, I think, and uh, just lost it. The grass is so unforgiving in Project Cars, dude. Yeah. I have severe damage right now. That's cool. There we go. You're heading into the pits? I'm in the pits already. I'm gonna try to put some time so I can at least get behind you. I think my uh, repairs are going to take quite a while. I knew you would be out before me, before I got to you. I was still too far behind. I mean, I'm uh, just on a bit late. Now I'm on the track. Right behind okay. you. Okay. I got a pit penalty. Ow. Uh, because you know the chicane they added at the end, at the yeah. last turn? Um, I cut it too much. I guess this race also turned into, well, whatever, massacre. In the end, I think we're going to end up doing this a lot in the, uh, as time goes on. And I think we're going to get really good at it. Where we're able to play with that hard race, that aggressive racer status. And we'll just stay ahead of them. Dude, uh, this is our first time doing this. This is my first time. I mean, it's just about keeping it together, not making stupid mistakes like I just did. Keeping it together. That's all it's about, dude. Yeah. That, that's what uh, Le Mans is about. Literally. Yeah. Keeping it together. <laughs> Mentally and, you know, the physical form of the car. I mean, I just, uh... At the kink, um, I most hand kink. I very slightly got on the grass and just sucked me in, and I got into the wall. But luckily, minimal damage.
Are you using any uh, force feedback mods for the for the wheel or no? I'm not. So you're on the stock feeling. Yeah. Where are you right now? Uh, just now at the Dunlop Bridge. I'm guessing you're at the chicane. Yep. I'm just coming up to Dunlop. Oh god. The rear end is so loose. I can't say this is my favorite car to drive. Then I would I would join you in saying this is not my favorite car to drive. But learning it, I'm developing this like connection to it. It's its own car, it drives its own way, and I'm just learning how to drive it. Mm. I think that's the best best part of a car is learning how to drive it. It deters people away from it, and then it will either bring people to it. I mean, I, I just cannot get the feeling. Well, that's uh, project cars in, in project general, cars. though. Yeah, the project cars feeling is too floaty. Way too floaty. I don't like that we can't go in the pits and adjust our cars. And what? And adjust the cars. No. racing now. I'm passing the Porsches. Wow, they are extremely slow. But good <laughs> job. Hey, if you're passing, you're racing. Let's go. You're, where are you right now? In uh, the chicane. Woo! You really gotta dive in on some of these corners. Yeah, I would love to do this in uh, a set of Corsa. I think we would do way better. Yeah. Good I got my fastest lap of 3.34. Nice. I just did my fastest lap as well, 3.28. Not bad, man. You're also in a higher top speed car. Yeah. Very good observation. <laughs> the rear end of one of the Fords is on the side of the road. What? One of the rear ends of a red uh, Ford is on the side of the road. That's fine. 
That's yours? Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> that's what no I love wonder about. My rear end. No wonder my rear end is so loose. That's what I like about Project Cards, dude, is the uh, visualness. The visualness is so good. Holy, what just happened? My car just bogged down. It's because you're driving a Ford, not a Ferrari. I mean, just suddenly lost a lot of top speed and then started climbing again. It's because the air change. If the game is what it says it should be, then the cooler air so rapidly would actually damage that motor. Well, I mean, I'm accumulating some, uh, some engine damage. I have been for quite a while now. I love that we're both in red cars, even though you're driving a Ford. Yes. I'm finally coming up on another car. Camaro. Yeah, the wheel feeling is too floaty. For rally cross and all that stuff, it's fun. But for like road racing, it feels like you're on ice or water or something. It just doesn't feel like you're on tarmac. Andy Clark, did you pass him? Uh, in what car? His wheels totally damaged. The Camaro with the front end damage. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh no, I passed. I'm gonna, the I'm Camaro gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass him on the straight because it looks like he has damage and he might go into me. I'm annoyed at the fact that the weather is working properly. Yeah, I'm annoyed with a few things, dude. My top speed was fine in practice, and now I'm in fifth gear and it's just maxed out. It's like, that's not normal. This game has always been bugged, though. That's why, dude, I'm excited for Codemaster. They might be able to release games that are not fully bugged. Possibly.
way new fastest lap, personal best. What happened? Got a new personal best, 326.6. Yeah, my top speed's hurting me, dude. I can't get in the 20s at all. Even if I drive clean, fast laps, I don't got the top speed on, on the straight. I'd be horrible at Le Mans, dude. I'd get disqualified. I'd always have my lights off when I'm behind somebody, and right as, before I pass them, light it up. <laughs> they would hear me coming, but they would not know where the hell I am. I would pull a talk to me every time I'm at Le Mans. I think you probably would have your lights on. I don't know. In real life, I have no problem turning the lights off in pitch black. I have pretty good night vision. I mean, it's not about your own capabilities. It's about the rules. About what? If you, don't have, if you don't have your lights on, you'll get warnings, and then if you don't turn them on, you'll get, you'll get disqualified. I got hit! Stupid GTB! If it makes you feel any better, I just drove into a wall myself, so... <laughs> well, my top speed is hurting me, because the GTB is able to catch the P330, uh, which is not as unrealistic. I mean, I'm, I'm hitting like 315. Oh goodness. That's cool. There's actually a spare tire in the back of the uh, board. Is there? Yep. Just in case you pop one on the road. Yeah. Probably not faster though. You know, changing it on there on the track. I'm just limping it back. Where are you at right now? Molson. You're really ahead of me. See the next place uh, prototype ahead of me. What position are you in? Twelve. I got a comment. David, what's up, buddy? How are you? We're trying to just survive Le Mans. 